Are you a real estate agent that's running Facebook ads, but you're not converting them at the rate that you would like? I'm gonna be breaking down some tips and tricks that you can do to boost your conversion on Facebook ads. Me and my team personally, for every $1,000 that we invest in the Facebook ads, we're making $10,000 in return. And I know for a fact, these ads absolutely crush it. So I wanna share my secrets with you so you can start developing your own Facebook ad systems in order for you to actually profit from investing all this money into the advertising. Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Russell Mortlock here with the Apex Group. I'm going to be showcasing all the tips and tricks that my team uses for every $1,000 that we invest into the Facebook ads. We're making $10,000 in commission. And if you're someone that wants to have me and my team run your advertising, well then go to the form in the description there, fill it out. And if you're right fit, we will reach out to you. But then for the people that are doing around 10 deals a year and wanting to hit that 20 to 30 deal mark and seem to be just struggling being able to actually double and triple their business, I know our business plan and everything that we teach agents is going to be so robust. It's going to elevate you and actually allow you to reach those goals. So if that's you, you can go in the description and you can book a call with me so we can talk about the next steps and becoming a business partner with me and my team. Okay, so I'm going to start from a super high level on just defining what you need to do in order to create great Facebook ads. So for what really gets people to view is you have to understand how Facebook ads actually work. People are browsing on a feed. Something has to stick out in order to capture their attention. So the first most important thing is actually having a really good image that speaks out to what they potentially are going to be looking for. And it has to be in line with what you're selling in your ad copy. I see so many real estate agents make this mistake, especially in my market, where They're running Facebook ads and they have this amazing drone shot of Lake Okanagan here in Kelowna, but then they're advertising that there's condos for sale, $400,000 condo list and under when really from the image, I'm thinking, okay, are you a boat rental company? Are you maybe a tourist company for Kelowna? It's not really in line with what condos are. So make sure that your images speak exactly to what you're wanting to sell. So for us, you can see here on our pool ads, homes for sale, Homes with pools for sale under 1.5 million. Looking for a home with a pool in the Okanagan? Get a list of homes with pools under 1.5 million. Our ad copy is very direct and to the point, tells people exactly what they're gonna get and what they're gonna achieve. And as you can see, this image is dynamite. And the craziest part is I actually made this entire ad on AI and it took me less than a minute to do to create this image right here. As you can see how much it really just pops out and sticks out. So if you're someone that wants to learn all the AI tools that I'm doing, I'll send you my top 10 list on what real estate agents should be using for their business to save more time and increase their income. Go to my Instagram at russellmortlock.realestate and shoot me a DM saying AI, and I'll send you my list of the best AI tools in order for you to help with your real estate business. Next thing I want to talk about for these ads is don't mess with them too much. As you can see, these ads are now producing about $10.50 per lead. We just started running them not too long ago. We developed about 20 leads so far, but you want to let them run for about a month or to two weeks time. So the best thing about Facebook is they gather all the data. They realize everyone that is clicking on these, all the people that show interest in it in order to make your ads perform better. So don't mess with your ads. All the newbie people that run Facebook ads, I see this all the time where they freaking go into their ads campaign every single hour, every day, make micro tweaks. And you don't really know what's working. So let it run, let it keep going, and then just perform on this. So once these leads maybe potentially start getting a little bit more expensive and not doing as well as you want, okay, now let's change something up. We'll probably put in a new image or we'll change like one little small asset of the actual ad, but keep the structure the same because we know it works. And these ads have been converting really well for people. Hey, yes, my budget is right under 1.5 million. I got like $300,000 saved for a down payment, but I want a pool. So they're very specific. These are very high quality leads. The next thing you need to do is is have it linked to your CRM so you can call these people very fast in the first five minutes of them signing up. Follow up boss is amazing. It has the dialer in there. You can take detailed notes. You can tag these leads very well. We're able to put specific follow up campaigns tailored exactly to our Facebook ads. Like you can see here, this person signed up on our big white resort ski ad. So when we're sending them information tailored to exactly that, this is why we convert higher than anyone else because we're not using these generic follow-up campaigns like every other real estate agent does it. Like, hey, are you looking to buy or sell a home? I sent you a list. I sent you some text. We're here. We're really saying, okay, you want to live in big white. Some things you need to know is that you're going to have to put more money down when you're purchasing this property because 
there might be leasehold land and there's different structures and we really inform them and educate them to build that authority. And we're able to do that with our CRM, with our action plans. The next point in order to really convert these at a high level is develop good phone skills. So have a script that you're following and know what objections you're going to get and overcome. We are information abstractors. So in real estate, these people take some time to convert. And in order to help serve them and know what best is you have to have good scripting to ask the right questions in order to see how you can help this person. And almost most of the time, these leads, we can actually help. So I don't want to be wasting my time following up with people that I wish I would have bluntly asked, hey, do you have the money to use this? Do you have $200,000 to buy a home over a million? If not, then hey, we're not going to be able to help you. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's part of being a salesman is you have to see if these people are qualified. I see so many agents not wanting to ask the hard questions and then they just keep spinning their wheels and their conversion goes down because they're saying, hey, I can't convert any of these leads. I got a hundred of them and I didn't get one. When really you should be able to convert at least one person there, which leads to probably in my market, a $12,000 check for every one lead that you convert from Facebook. The next thing you need to do is once you've got your phone skills dialed is find great recommendation closes or good storytelling abilities to get these people to meet you in person. Really highlight the pain points of whatever they may be struggling with and what you can do to assist them if we were to go out. If they're buyers, typically the best to get them out there is to show them a property. But our rule of thumb is we never are just door openers. We don't just go meet to show you the home after we have to go down for a lunch or a coffee and I have to understand your real estate goals. The next really crucial part is you got to make sure that you're staying up to date with these people with sending them properties and having good follow-up campaigns specific to what they are looking. So for us, we film a ton of YouTube videos that are specific to what it's like to buy property in our market and informing them where the best places to live, pros and cons, certain costs things that you wouldn't really know if you didn't live here. And then they're able to see my face on YouTube. They hear me speak. So then they build that no like trust factor. And so instead of them reaching out to maybe the three other websites that they signed up on Facebook ads, because they've seen me so many times in person, heard me speak, I've given them valuable pieces of information. They think I'm the right professional to help with their real estate. So if you're someone that wants to start actually converting Facebook ads and wants to learn our systems and would like for me to set up your ads, well then go to the description, fill out that form, and if you're right fit, we'll reach out. But for the agents that want to actually start taking their real estate goals seriously, and you're someone that's doing around 10 deals a year, and you want to finally get to doing 20, 30 deals, I can guarantee you that becoming a business partner with us is going to be what gets you to actually achieving your real estate goals. So if that's you, go in the description and schedule a call with me and we'll unpack how we can help you.